Hello students, a very warm welcome to Sort of Sorts classes. Today's tutorial will be on economics. We, in this tutorial, we will actually follow an analytical approach. We will be solving some sums that appeared in the previous year question paper formulated by GNU. In order to have complete access to the solved entire solved material, then you can contact us on this number. And for further details, you can check in our website. The first question is question number 11 which we are going to solve in this tutorial. It came in the year 2007. The question is the long run cost function for a commodity sold in a perfectly competitive market is given by this. The equilibrium price of the commodity in the long run is so we need to comment on the equilibrium price. So let us do this so the or let me insert a page so the equilibrium price in a perfectly competitive market in the long run is at the minimum point of average cost curve and if you can't re remember this just recall the diagram that you used to make now the total cost is equal to q cube 2q square plus 2q so let us find the average cost it will be q square minus 2q plus 2. Now to find the minimum point we will differentiate this function with respect to q and set it equal to 0. Let's see. So dac by dq will be 2q minus 2 equal to 0. So q will be equal to 1. So the equilibrium price of the commodity in the long run is 1. So we need to pick the correct option. So c will be the correct answer to this particular question. Let us do one more sum. The next sum came in the year, appeared in the year 2007. The question is, suppose a monopolist firm faces a demand curve given by this. Now, if firm's output in the short run equilibrium is this, we need to comment on the marginal cost of the firm at the equilibrium level of output. So, let's do this. So, the demand curve... Demand curve is given by this. This is 1 minus P. So the demand function inverse, inverse demand function. That means this is in terms of P. We will get it in terms of Q. So in terms of quantity will be q is equal to p is equal to 1 minus q now total revenue is equal to p into q so p is 1 minus q into q so we'll get q minus q square let us get the marginal revenue which is to differentiating the total revenue with respect to q and we'll get 1 minus 2q so here it was given q is equal to 0 0.1 so at 0 0.1 we'll evaluate the marginal revenue at Q is equal to 0 0.1. So, you will get 1 minus 2 into 0 
and this will be 0 0.8 so the answer will be option A